right off the bat when I first do that is that you know what I didn't have enough space on the page to really you know make this as com to make this show as many values. So I'm going to expand the space just a little bit. Or I would have taken the table. You would have played around with this by either playing by either by either compressing the table, compressing the text in the table, which would have been more likely something of that sort of nature. But here, to make it clear for our video purposes, I'll leave it like this. And then just to make it actually match this line, I'll expand this line over here to make it pretty. Make the line end over there. And for some reason, it makes a big difference with users. Actually, I've, I've read other reasons before with, with them recognizing something known as harmony and all these other sorts of concepts and symmetry and la la la. But for over here, I just expanded this and would have normally have stopped it right about this line. Stop, stop your break line at the last data point. Users seem to just love it or go all the way to the end of the page, one of the two. Um, now, once I actually finish this, I'm going to give it a chart title. So you guys see over here, there's product one, two, three, four, five, six. So those are the products, right? And then those are the individual quantities of the products being represented over here. So you guys see how we used category to represent what was being grouped, right? And then we use quantities to be able to show the relative amounts of each and every single one. So that's how we used values. So you guys see how categories actually actually provided for the grouping part and then values um, actually show the relative amount of size. So this one had more values than maybe this one in the little yellow. We can all see that. All right, now for the chart title, I need to give it a title just to be best practicey. Well, we need it anyway, otherwise users would complain and not use our, use our chart. And I'll call it product quantities sold. Okay, so once you finish all that up and you get it all typed in and whatever else, there is one last thing you need to do. You need to um, change this font over here for the header. So the way to do that is first click off of it, then click in the header and click, click it until you see this little rectangle appear. So click again until you get this little square. And that gets a lot of people in the labs and the classrooms um, whenever we typically show how to click inside of those things. So watch out for this particular part where you got to click again until you get the little header. And until you see this little header right over here that appears, this little rectangle around the header, then it's not actually selecting the header. Now, once you've got the header like that, you can now change it real easily. You just come up, go to the font right over here. And then once you go to the font, let's say let's make that 10 point there. Now that looks much better, so that therefore it all appears in one particular view. Excellent. Okay, now that you've got that down, you're ready for your very next one. So we've got that very first one linked to the list data set, which means that it's gonna which also means that it's gonna be grouped by territory, which is perfect, just like all the rest of our data. Let's add another chart in this case. Let's say let's add a column chart in this case, which will give us the same, you know, which will also give us even more of a perspective to look at. So very nice. In fact, for some companies, this would be pretty close to a dashboard, having the two columns and whatever else. You throw some parameters in there. Okay, let's click insert right over there. And then, and then once we actually click on the insert again, right, let's come down again and let's go to chart. And then on chart, what we're going to do over here is we're going to go ahead and actually click on um, the chart wizard again. So we've already done that before, um, so we've all seen that already. Now, once we click on the chart wizard from the data visualizations area, not the not the data regions area, just to correct something that I um, just to correct something that I saw inside the lab guide. Um, once we actually come in and we actually click on our chart wizard in this particular case, we're going to choose a data set. So once again, the same data set your your list is using since it's inside of the list. Then what we're going to do over here this time is rather than go with a rather than go with the chart like we did the last time um, where we used a pie chart. Let's use a column chart. Give them nice little, you know, hierarchical columns that can actually work and click next. Now, once we actually click next over here, what we're going to do is choose a style and let's go with slate so that we keep the same exact theme. So, um, well, I'm sorry about that. Let's add product real quick first. So forgive me. So we're going to add product over here to the categories, just like we saw before, right? How the product um, and we understand these are going to be the, um, the products are going to represent individual categories that, that represent one line going up. And then what we're going, going to do is we're going to use the values, right? For the values, we're going to actually um, we're going to turn around and we're going to actually we're going to actually use sales, right? So then, therefore, we actually represent how many sales were by each and every single product. So I'll put product, then I'll put sales, right over there. And now we've got that. So that part over there, and then let's click next. And then staying with the same theme, slate. There we go. And let's click finish. There's our column chart. Once again, nothing new. We need to go ahead and resize it. So just bring it in here. And then I'm going to bring it down. 
okay and there we go so we've got that part in there and then and then what we're going to do over here is we're going to change the chart title so I'm going to just click in here and change it to product sales right over there and then what I'm gonna do over here is make it 10 point just like we did earlier so clicking inside of here until I get that little rectangle right in there so you guys see I had to left click in there until I got the little rectangle and now I'm gonna come back and change it to 10 point there we go right over there and now what I'm gonna do over here is just to make it just to just to make it a little bit more interesting over here I'm gonna actually I'm gonna actually come over here on the vertical axes and what I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna I'm gonna delete a couple of things so what I'm gonna do fir first is I'm gonna come over to the vertical axes over here okay and then once I do that I'm gonna go ahead and just right click just to show you guys where it's at real fast so you guys can all see that over there and then what I'm gonna do is I'm, a, I'm gonna uncheck show axes title because what I'm doing is I'm bringing more information into the chart and you see what's really happening is people already know the product so I don't need a title over here they already understand what's going on because I can see products quantity sold right over there and then I can see product sales so they know that this represents sales um, when you've got very clear titles that match like this product and sales like in the title name no need to have to come in and actually add the legend or whatever and take up extra space unless unless um, unless you really need to for some complexity or because you really do fear your users won't understand now I'm gonna come over here on sales right over there and you guys see over here I can right click on it so I just left click first and I right clicked and I'm gonna click delete legend there we go now I've got a fully expanded report very very nice okay now that I'm over there guys we are we are rocking I only need to do um, I only need to do um, a, do do really one more thing I want to make sure that these things are the same height within the rectangle so I'm gonna highlight this first one I left clicking on that then I'm gonna hit control and highlight the second one right over there so everyone see over there where I just highlighted both of them in this particular case then what I'm gonna do is while, while they're both selected right click right over here and then there's something called layout look at that you can align it you can you can make them the same height the same width you name it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna make these the same height nice 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 now I'm gonna click run to preview this report look at that there we've actually got a report I would have probably just in my own sort of thing I would have added a little bit more spacing here in fact I will just to be more consistent and that's just for a better looking feel so let me just put a control over here and a control over here and just slightly move it just a little bit not much or even better just move the rectangle there's my rec whoops find my rectangle right over there and there's my rectangle right over here and then I'll just slightly move the rectangle and then I'll take this particular table let me just size this a little bit so come out with the size here and the easier way to get to this rectangle other than just clicking like this by the way um, the easiest way to do it is to actually come is to actually is to actually go through the properties but here I'll use this way and I'm gonna try to move it just a little bit sorry about that there let me see how it looks now whoop there we go that's got more spacing inside of it so that makes a little bit more of a clear delineation there um, as you guys can see over here and of course you would play with it play with it I'd make this line a little bit bigger if I wanted to for example so maybe I make the line go all the way through one of those things you can definitely play with again and again to the very end of the rectangle there we go now I've got it okay so a little bit of clicking over there to get it there but got it and you guys see over here now there's an actual report now if I would have probably personally have done this I wouldn't have had so much text here but the text was just filler to show you something that was it if we eliminated the text we would have probably just had a you know straight part or whatever else um, and in their final example they showed three three lines that they never told you how to do um, but you guys could see how to do it though from this by adding three big gray lines by just dragging in vertical lines and then and then sizing them um, that was their picture over there but this this looks good this looks really good so guys congratulations if you have done this this was absolutely wonderful absolutely wonderful definitely you've learned list um, make sure you do the lab on your own and go through it and um, you're progressing you're progressing this is definitely hitting it so enjoy it enjoy teaching it to you and Brandon again and love it take care and hope it was great guys